It just like that we are in Miami, Florida. I'm here today to do what? Eat Pizza Hut pizza from we're, a Target. We're eating Pizza Hut pizza from a Target. No joke, we got beautiful pepperoni, breadsticks, and smart water. We bought a six pack because you know, stay hydrated, it's good for you. But uh, so today is actually a really cool day because I flew all the way down here to kind of spec out my new car. So we're like an hour from actually meeting up with the owner of the company who's gonna be building the car. And I'm, I'm, I'm like nervous, excited, because I know I know what they look like, I know what they can do. I just, I just don't know, I guess this is the first time I've actually told someone else what I want in a car. It's weird, because normally I'm the one who builds it. This is the first time I only have my hand in the process when it comes to building a car, and I guess having like the final say on things go. But, uh, that probably didn't make any sense. I do have control issues, it's really <laughs> bad. So yeah, we're gonna eat our pizza, then we're gonna drive over, meet up with Diego, and we'll go from there. I hope you're excited. I'm excited. All right, guys, I'm here with Diego Gruyon, the creator and of the Gruyon GT, which some of you guys may know that I've been looking at for a while now. If you watched my last video, you saw that I sold the Aston Martin, and I'm here in Miami hanging out with Diego because I'm going to put my deposit next week on one of these beautiful machines right here. So the idea is I'm gonna have Diego do pretty much everything with the car other than the interior. Interior, you know, basically set up how I need it. Uh, and then, you know, just to kind of get it running so I can register the car. Then we'll be taking it to my guys to do all the carbon fiber and all the leather work and stuff like that. I I'm, I'm excited, and this is probably the coolest door you will ever see in Raleigh, North Carolina. So this is a full tube chassis. As you can guys see, it is built in roll cage into the body. Comes with an LS engine made to a six speed Porsche transmission. It's all custom done, like, this is insane. The craftsmanship of these cars is just, unworldly. Got the gas tank mounted on the right, but you have to actually open up the entire clamshell to fill up. So every time you go to a gas station, it's gonna be so cool to be able to open up the back of the car to fill up your, you know, your gas tank because people are gonna be like, what is this? And then when you open it like a transformer, people are gonna lose their mind. We're going to then close this off right here, seal it in completely, I'll use that for storage. That's something we're gonna worry about after the fact though. We're gonna do this when we get to Raleigh, kind of figure out the dimensions of things, maybe be able to put a suitcase and stuff in here. Because we do a lot of car shows and a lot of stuff like that, so I really want to be able to use this car and drive the car as much as possible, so that's something we will handle when we get the rest of the stuff done. Now my question for you guys is, what color would you do one of these cars? I'm kind of leaning towards like a brown, purple, or green, but I wanna hear from you guys. So. I'm gonna leave the Flickr link down below of DDR Motorsports so you can see all the crazy cool colors that these cars come in. Because you can do whatever you want. It's completely bespoke to what you like. You can put pretty much carbon wherever you want it. If you want it on the back of the engine lid, if you want the doors to be carbon. However you want that, he will make it happen for you, which is awesome. So it's neat because you can come to a shop like this, bespoke your car how you want to have it. If you want it with an Impala SS engine, you can do that. If you want it with a Corvette engine, you can do that. If you want an MR2 engine, you can do that. K Series engine, you can do that. If you want to build these as a race car, or a street car, which I am doing, you could do that. So having the ability to do this is gonna be absolutely insane. I'm so excited for the journey that we're gonna to take to really kind of make these cars like stand out in North Carolina because no one has one out here. And you know me, I like to be completely like just one off of everything. So again, we're gonna have some of the coolest work done for the interior, maybe some exterior mods as well, but I'm just excited for you guys to see everything. I'm gonna do a little montage now so you can kind of see what goes into these builds because there's a lot of really cool small details that I think that you guys just need to see.
back home after a wonderful trip to Miami. I don't know if it was wonderful, it was hot, miserable. I, I like North Carolina. If you watched my last video, which I hope you did, hopefully you liked it, hopefully you're subscribed, and hopefully you commented below because you have a chance to win 100 bucks and that sick like Takata Bride combo backpack duffel bag thing that I'm giving away for free. All you gotta do is like and subscribe to the video. That is it, I'm slapping, I'm slapping things. Uh, I'm kinda 50-50 on it. I, I love the car, it was a great car, great machine, but at the same time, I'm really excited for the Grillon GT from DDR Motorsport. I've wanted this car for a long time, and I'm finally in the position to buy one. So, in order to do that, and get all the stuff I want done to it, I need you to like this video, I need you to subscribe to this channel, and I need you to comment below so you have a chance to win 100 bucks and that sick bride duffel bag. All you gotta do is literally just those three things. Just comment all the videos. Every time you comment, with a real comment, not just L, 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 L. Okay, I need you to actually comment, real comment. You will then be entered for a chance to win. Once I hit 300 subs, I will then be giving it away, 100 bucks. Wherever you are in the world, I'll give you 100 USD worth into your currency, however that works. We'll figure it out, okay? I've wanted this car for such a long time. It's been a car, it's been on my mind for, for a while, and I will say that DDR Motorsport, Diego especially, have just gone to the next level with this car. When I first saw it, it reminded me of the McLaren F1 LM. Its, it's design and styling was kind of based on that. Uh, Diego wanted to build his dream car, and that's what he did. He built his very first car, which was eventually dubbed the Miami GT. And that slowly became where we are today as the Grillon GT, which is Diego's last name, who is the CEO president of DDR Motorsport. At this point, now we have a really cool chassis that's fully tube, fully made in house. We have a sick body that it no longer really looks like an F1 because it's, it's just gone to the next level with this car. It is now, in my opinion, its own car. It is no longer what you call a replica, okay? And the term kit car, I guess, kind of deters some people from looking at these cars, but it's not really a kit car. So you look at Pagani, who uses AMG engines, okay? And now we're gonna look at DDR Motorsport with the Grillons that use the LS engines, or the LT, or the MR2 engine. The difference is we're using used parts of a car instead of brand new parts, which if you want, you could do brand new parts. If you really want to, you could order this car to spec and order it with all brand new parts if you wanted. So it's as if you're buying a Pagani Zonda, but like, like a lot cheaper, a lot cheaper, significantly cheaper. So it's really cool because I'm gonna be using LS1. I'm gonna be using a Porsche six speed transmission, which you, I'll post photos and stuff as we go. And the, the cars are, are just awesome. So I'm gonna be using a race pack on mine. That's how they come with the GT8. The GT8 is the one that uses the LS engine for their builds. So I'll be using like a race pack design. I'm gonna be doing a full interior myself. I've talked to Diego. He's gonna supply me with the parts I need to make the process easier, but I'm doing something completely crazy. You guys know me. I don't like to do anything just like boring. I want, when you see this car to be like, holy shit, that is Joshua's Grion GT8. And that's what I really want. So I'm excited to bring this to you guys. I have a couple really great guys with a couple really cool companies that we're gonna be working with to get this done. If you're interested in helping, just let me know. I would love to use some of your products on this build as well. Anything from steering wheel seats, just whatever you got for interior or exterior wise, that'd be great. I would, I would love to support and be a sponsor for your company. That would be amazing because any little bit helps. And I'm selling this house, so I gotta do that in the middle of buying this car. So four years ago, I was down in Miami working on a job site and I wanted to visit DDR Motorsport headquarters and kind of see what it's about because I was interested in purchasing one of the cars. At that point in time in my life, I thought I was ready to purchase one. I was gonna do a ground up type build, but things changed. I started TFA, I started putting money into that company and I really wanted to grow that company before I was in a position to start buying these types of cars, but I didn't do it because I wasn't quite ready. And I'm glad I didn't because now these cars are next level. I love the new engine lids they have. I love some of the new things they've changed, the styling. There's just those little things that make that car right now to the next level. I'm excited about this. Hope you guys are excited too. I'll, of course, you know what I mean? Throw some more videos and stuff up as I get them. 
we'll talk more in depth about the car soon to come, but just to let you guys know, that's officially the car I'm getting. I'm so excited. Uh, you have no idea, I sold the Aston for this. It's crazy to think that I sold an entry level exotic car to buy a kit car. It's weird, but I'm excited because it's gonna be something so unique and I hope you guys love it. Can't wait to bring it out to these cars and coffees. But until then, I have a truck, I have a ruckus, two ruckus, and we'll get to those soon. I'll talk to you guys really soon. Stay safe, love you all, bye.